Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here we like to do things budget friendly and if you are like me and have champagne taste but on a beer budget, these videos are for you. So as you guys would have seen by the thumbnail, we are going to do something absolutely ridiculous and different today, and that is a nail challenge, but it's also a Timu haul. And <laughs> what I mean by nail challenge is I found the most ostentatious nails ever on Timu. Now, if some of you guys are thinking that my nails are distracting, <laughs> baby, you had no clue. <laughs> Check these out, you guys. <laughs> these are the craziest nails that I have ever, ever seen from Timu. And now I only have the little sticky tabs on, okay? I, there is no way I was going to actually glue these on my nails and have them last longer than I absolutely need them to because there's no way I can function on a daily with these things, right? These are, these are just gonna be fun. Um, it's already proven to be a little difficult to just even set up my camera space. I have to move Miss Koi because I don't want her to put her little claws into something here. So it's already proven difficult for me to set up my um, filming space with these and getting my camera adjusted and going into, you know, photos and videos and taking the uh, thumbnail photos and all of that stuff. So am I distracting you guys yet? <laughs> so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is instead of showing you this stuff and doing a try on, I am going to try these articles of clothing on with these nails in real time with you and see how hard it is to do anything with these nails. Now, don't worry, don't worry. I have a pair of biker shorts and a tank top underneath so that when I'm changing clothes, I'm not getting all naked in front of the camera. So I thought that this would be kind of an interesting, interesting film. I'm showing you some unique Timu stuff. I'm showing you some bizarre clothing. I'm showing you some bizarre nails. Um, but I just wanted to film it a little bit different. And I hope that you guys really enjoy enjoy this because I have no idea how complicated this is going to be. But before we do that, I do want to mention that this portion of today's video is sponsored by Irresistible Me. And Irresistible Me reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try their clip and hair extensions. Now, you guys would have already have seen the ponytail extensions that they've sent me. They've sent me out a straight one and they've sent me out a super curly one. And you will have seen those on, on a regular because I really enjoy them and I wear them for a lot of my videos. But they sent me out some clip-in extensions. Stay tuned, I am going to insert a video of me putting them in. How many pieces you get, um, how to brush it, how I, how I put them in and how I make them work for me. And of course, because I am feeling extra Elvira-y today, I do have some um, very dark and vampy makeup on today just to kind of pull it in and tie it all in, especially with the funky nails and the funky clothes I'm going to be showing you. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so I am, while I do my little eye mask, I've also got some teeth whiteners on in case you look at my teeth and go, what is on your teeth, Faith? Um, so while I have those sitting on my 
face. I've got my hair blow dried and I've got a little touch of curl in there. So it's all nice and straight because we are going to be trying these. So this is the Irresistible Me Clip-In Hair Extensions. Now you guys have seen me do the ponytails, but they sent me the clip-in extensions. So I thought just in case for some of you who might not know how to do clip-in hair extensions, that I would briefly show you how I would put these in my hair. This is the 24 inch volume set. So because they have just a little bit of curl in there, that's why I added a little bit of curl into my hair. And of course I volumized my hair with my new Maxoto hair dryer and then the dry bar um, hair straightener blow dryer tool to get into the roots to make sure that we were nice and straight. And then a large barrel curl iron to get this little just a little touch of curl so I'm gonna get these unraveled and I'm gonna show you just briefly how I put these in my hair so real quick there are nine pieces in here they start from itty bitty itty bitty okay and then they go up in size a little bit bigger to a little bit bigger and then there is one piece that's going to look like this and this is going to be the one that's got the most hair in it the most volumizing and this is a piece that's going to work really well for the crown of your head to give it that volume I've got my hair parted in the back and pulled up so that you can see that part in the back here. And I want just a little bit so that I can connect my hair. Now, people can back comb so that these clips stay in a little bit tighter. I personally do not do that. I feel that's damaging, too damaging, and I don't want to do that. One clip on one side of the part, and then another clip on the other side of the part and these are just so easy that to open you pop them open and pop them closed so there's our first piece we've got our next part very slightly right above that last layer and i'm going to choose another length that will fit the length of this part chosen the next length but I just want to show you too you want to be careful when you brush out your extensions so you don't pull them from the seams so you take a nice little um, detangling brush that's very nice and gentle on your hair pieces and brush from bottom to top center that in the middle okay kind of come in at an angle dig down snap Take the next one, bring it over, kind of start at an angle, dig down and snap. So we just get the second piece in. Got my next piece parted out, which again is very slightly above the other one. So again, snap in the middle, try to find that middle part of my head, clip in the middle, bringing it around to the side, bringing in from an angle, and then pulling down clipping in okay guys i'm liking i'm liking how it's working because of my hair kind of filling in the gaps and kind of making it look a little bit more natural of a blend so i don't really feel like i need to put any more little tiny pieces in and i just want to show you that this is how much volume and hair and length that we are able to achieve with only a handful of pieces i still have two little ones and like i said these are good if you need to fill in little spots to add a little bit more volume um, framing your face so that's what these two little ones are great for so there's two there's three and four and five that I did not use so if you wanted va va volume 
you could really achieve that with with the amount of extra pieces that they give you right? and i did choose a black color this time so that it really kind of blends in with my hair color which is dyed a soft or a natural black and as far as the color goes it does in certain lights it has a little bit of a reflect of brown so it's not a jet black fake looking black just just as an fyi i am going to insert a clip of how i put these things on and how i prepped my nails now what i can tell you is before you watch it i had to put extra little glue tabs on here because my nails are so big and I wanted I wanted to give them the best chance possible to stay on while I did this. So there's a lot of glue tabs on here. This actually, if they don't fall off on their own, they might be a butt turd to remove. But take a look at the video. I'm gonna do my best to film this for you because I just want you to see how important prep is so what I'm using is a Dawn dish soap, and this is going to make sure that I get all of the oils off of my skin. So Dawn dish soap is very good at cutting grease, hence why they use it to remove oil from animals who have been affected by oil spills. I did take off my previous set of nails and I did push back my cuticles and I did remove the glue from my nails and I sanded them down just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. But this is going to really help remove the rest of the oils that are on my skin. Okay, so drying it with whatever is just fine because the next step we're going to do is taking an alcohol. This is a 70%. I would say 90% is going to be even better. I'm gonna soak my little cloth here and I'm going to make sure that I remove anything and everything else from my nails so that there's nothing, nothing that's going to interrupt the glue or the adhesive tabs that we're gonna be putting on so now I'm just going to let this air dry. I'm going to put it up at the top here. Maybe I'll do like a second one. We'll see. And I think just, just to give it the best chance ever, I'm gonna put another little one right over here. I'm gonna go in at an angle underneath my cuticle. I'm gonna bring it down and really push that on. So there we have nail number one and I will keep going and you will see the full set later. So obviously we're going to start with the outfit that I'm wearing that I put on before I did this, okay? So what this is, and the only thing that is part of this outfit is the shirt. The pants I've already had. So this shirt is really adorable. It kind of has this little cape kind of a situation that comes down over the shoulders with a little crisscross here, a little crisscross here, and a little crisscross here, longer on one side, shorter on the other, and some little fake buttons here. They are not real, but they're just little accent pieces, a little faux turtleneck, and it has a cotton-like feel to it. I don't know what kind of material this would actually be, but it is a very nice cotton feel, not digitally printed. It's a rel relatively thin material. It has decent length, 
very decent length. So if you are a taller person and you've got longer arms, this is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna fall over from whipping my hair around. So this is what the length looks like in the back. And of course, the, the length of my hair extensions. So <clears throat> I am really enjoying this. I do like to wear maroon colors, blue colors, and green colors. And I just thought that this one was really pretty and it's very comfortable. So <laughs> let's get into the next one. This is gonna be interesting. So obviously I'm glutton for punishment because of all these strings, but this, this is a three piece. Now I ordered a pair of pants and a jacket, but instead of a jacket, they sent me a skirt and it's all local warehouse. And when the skirt came, I was like, um, can you exchange it for me faster because when it's local warehouse, just FYI, you guys, when it's local warehouse, what they do is you send it back, which is free shipping, always free shipping. But when you send that back, instead of getting the instant credit, like if you were returning it from the Timu vendor, they have to receive it, which takes, you know, four to five days. They have to inspect it, which takes another two to three days and then they'll issue you the refund. So because of the price, you know, it was $10 and some change. It was like, you know what, forget it. I went up to my daughter's room and I said, hey, try this on, will you wear it? Do you like it? And she's like, yes. So I'm just gonna give her the skirt and then I just ordered, ordered the jacket again and thankfully it was a jacket that came. So long story short, <laughs> Let's see if I can get into these. So <laughs> again, I have I have undergarments on. So <sighs> so so don't worry guys. If if for some reason there's a boob slip up or or something, I will <laughs> cut and paste. Uh, so so don't worry about that. Okay. Um I mean, already it's getting a little difficult because of trying to get my hand, my these these in and out of the sleeves. <laughs> and I'm gonna try not to kill myself while doing this. <laughs> Clearly, okay. Let's. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Let's start with the skirt. And these I ordered all in a large. And P.S. by the way, these kind of smell like ammonia. And I, I so if you buy these, I would very highly recommend that you wash before use. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna risk it all for you guys, and hopefully, I don't, I don't get sick. <laughs> um, but okay, so that wasn't too hard. Now. I'm going to see how many nails I'm going to end up losing by the end of today. So stay tuned. I'm also going to film a couple of daily tasks. <laughs> moving, moving on to what I was saying, I'm going to film a couple daily tasks with these. I am, I'm super, super hungry, but I... I want to make some chicken wings. We went out for, for dinner last night for Israel's birthday. He turned 53 yesterday. But, okay, got it on. He turned 53 yesterday, but he wants to, he wants to say he's, he's 35. <laughs> so we went out to B-dubs for, for dinner last night and we've got some leftovers. So I'm gonna warm those up when I'm done trying on all this good fun stuff here and try to eat chicken wings with these nails. And yes, I'm going to video it for you guys so you get to see the hot mess. Now, this actually fits quite nice. 
Now, because my daughter is a little bit bigger than I am, this is a little bit more skin tight on her. But if you like it loose, I am roughly um, a 30, 30 inch waist. Again, I am about 5'8 and some change, almost 5'9. Legs are longer with a 32 inch inseam. I have, um, I'm, a, I'm about 145 pounds. I have no booty, okay? No booty, so nothing to lift up the length here, right? And so if this is a way that you like to see it fit on you, I would go with the large. Large is 810. And then the jacket, of course, is also a large and this guy i mean this is these are really super cool so i'm going to try to show you a little bit more up close here i have no idea how this is going to wash or the complication that if these things come out of the laces when i wash it this could be interesting maybe what i'll have to do is put them in lingerie bags and see if that will stop these from pulling out because trying to figure out where they all go back I think is gonna be a nightmare. But I also want to show you that lengthwise, it's okay if I put my arm down but when I, you know, when I move my arms, they are a little bit on the shorter side. So the length is okay. It's not too bad for a large. What I would have liked to have seen is maybe them come down just a little bit, just, just a little bit longer. So, and the snaps. Obviously, I like snaps because snaps are so easy to get in and out of. It's just, it's just a simple bloop and you're done. So now I'm gonna try on the pants, which I haven't tried on yet. So let's do that, but let me give you a close up. So this is what the pants look like. And these, again, these were so inexpensive. I was completely shocked. So we've got a couple of functioning flat pockets and pockets here. There's pockets here, and P.S., by the way, this also is, is pockets, which is really cool. So, I'm going to, ow, ow, sorry, try these on. Here, my finger is getting, like, snaked on, on the dragon wing, and I have to kind of remember to, you know, like, pull my finger out and around. <laughs> so, I'm going to put these on with the jacket. So far, I still have all of my nails, you guys. I, I feel I'm tugging, I feel I'm tugging a little bit, but nothing, nothing too bad. I heard something, I think the cat played. I thought maybe one of them dropped. I think the cat's playing with something. Okay. Okay. Now. They also have, ow, 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 elastic. <laughs> they have elastic down here, which is nice too. I think these are a pretty decent length. The, um, let pull this back here some more. The waist here is a little on the loose side, but they have functioning draw straps here so that's amazing and i have said if you guys are new here hello welcome to the madness i am glad you're here the the fact that anything pushes too hard here really irritates my sensitive stomach so this is great there's so much room to spare and remember i have shorts on underneath this too so lots of room to spare i can tighten it as i want to so obviously we could close this back up we could have it out or we could just we could just take it off but i i really love this and and for the price 
I might not wear the two pieces together or like the jacket and the skirt together, but I might wear the jacket separately with just a regular pair of jeans, or I would wear the pants separately with, with a more simple top. Because to me, I think sometimes when you have crazy, absurd pieces, it's nice to take something wild and crazy and simple or something wild and crazy here and then simple. That's my opinion, my thoughts. So let's see what happens. Oh, he's getting, he's getting caught. <laughs> he's getting caught in the stringies here. Okay, let's get her unsnagged here. Okay, uh-oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh, ow, ow, ow. okay. We might lose that one first. Boy, it's really snagged. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. We're still on. We're still on. These are... <laughs> when they snag, they're pulling... Um, they're pulling at my natural nail. <laughs> I can feel it pulling. Okay, I am going to grab the next outfit to try on. The next outfit is going to be kind of a vest top and a pair of funky jeans. So, I bet it's even gonna be hard to pull these jeans out of the bag. Let's see. Oh, not too bad. So, these are the jeans super fun and then of course the back size large is what I originally bought in these you guys and I did try them on and they were way too big so I returned them and got a medium so those pants are actually going to be a medium so Maybe I should put a chair over here. So, But if I follow you guys, you're just going to find that absolutely hilarious. I'm going to risk it all for you guys, okay? Don't try this at home. <laughs> so when I got these, I pulled them out and I did try them on and they did fit a lot better. So if you guys like kind of that baggy look of a pant, you might really enjoy these because they certainly are, they're a little bit tighter up here when you get the size that fits you. And then of course the wide leg. Um. <laughs> let's see if I can, let's see if I can get this buttoned. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So this is obviously a little bit just a little bit tighter in the waist than i sometimes prefer but what i like about this is the elastic in the back the elastic in the back really kind of helps it from not being so tight here but i really like these because it's like two or three different pairs of pants all put together so i thought these were really cool now, I pulled this one out to wear because I can just about imagine how difficult this is going to be to get into with these nails. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I got to remember here how to, and this is stinky, you guys. This is really stinky. Um, this definitely needs to be air dried I think oh, uh, ow, ow, ow. Okay. Um, <laughs> this so this definitely needs to be air dried these are if you've been with me you guys have seen me um, oh god god you guys would have seen me to some faux leather uh, shorts that I call my stinky shorts um, and this smells very much like that 
So, um, <laughs> definitely air dry these, dry this one, or you could also fold it nicely in a, in a drawer or what have you with a, um, with, this is what I did with my shorts, my stinky shorts, is I air, air dried them a little bit, that, but then when I put them away and folded them up, I did put a fabric softener sheet in with it, just folded it in there. So I think I have that on correctly. I think it needs to be tightened here, but anyways, you got the two straps in the back. And I think that if I were to tighten this one, it would look a lot better. So <laughs> let me see if I can do that. <laughs> see how complicated this might be. might need to help you get into this clearly so that you can get, get the velcro on nice and straight okay so we might be looking a little bit better there but I thought this was really cute now perhaps what I would wear that with this would be maybe some sort of a tube top that comes up to about here or yeah, I suppose, yeah, a tube top so that you don't see the straps of a tank top. But I just thought this one was really cool. It's stinky, needs to be aired out. It smells fishy, not food fishy, fishy fishy. <laughs> like, um, like as a woman, I need to go see the doctor fishy. That's what it smells like. It is not pretty, it's not pretty. So if you like this and you want this, do as I say, air dry it, maybe fold it up with a, a really lovely smelling uh, dryer sheet to, to get rid of that smell. So here's this outfit. I am going to dig in my stash and pull out another because we haven't lost a nail yet. We might not lose a nail. Maybe by the time I start eating um, some chicken wings, I might lose a nail. <laughs> or if, I got, I, if I've got to go to the bathroom who, or, or sleeping in it, maybe I have to sleep in it because maybe they won't fall off because I got so many glue tabs on here. We'll see, we'll see, but I can tell you so far it is not pleasant when it snags on my, ow, hair. Um, yeah, that's not pleasant. So <laughs> let me grab another outfit and I will be right back. Okay. I think this one is gonna have to be the last one. I pulled out something that's probably gonna be one of the more or most complicated ones. This, that, actually might get ruined in this process so so we will see what happens so let's find out shall we let's try to un unbutton hopefully i don't get stuck in anything because israel's not here to bail me out so this one is going to have a sweater. Well, a sweater-ish kind of thing. So this thing. And like I said, this is maybe probably even going to get ruined in the process. So whew, let's see what happens. This is a skirt that I picked up. And this is a... Asian size, I think extra, extra large, which I believe is an American or US size large. I did get, um, or is this a double, double X or a triple X? 
I can't remember. Obviously, I'll put it on the screen, but I the first one I ordered was too small, so I returned that and sized up. So, let's do this. Now, obviously, this is not going to be enough to cover a booty because this is really sheer. So, you will need to put on a definite, definite um, booty short underneath of this so that you're not showing your your special bits. So there's lots of buttons here. I'm trying to get this in there. Okay. Almost, almost. That dragon is really getting in the way, you guys. This last one is hard. Okay, there, got it. Okay, and then it comes with a belt. Ow, ow. <laughs> Let's see if I can get all the belt loops here. Okay, so far, so good, oh. The, the wing is snagging, wing is snagging. Okay. Ah, son of a gun. <laughs> the glue tabs are holding strong, you guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a very, very long belt. Oh my goodness. Getting there, almost, almost. Okay. Whew. All right. I'm not looking forward to this. P.S. by the way, this is a top. Now I have to figure out how to put it on. This would work really well, I think, with a racer back tank. If you didn't want to show your goods or a very dainty crisscross bra. Let's see. Okay. Hopefully you guys will be able to see the detail past my tank top. Oh lordy. That barely covers up the girls, doesn't it? Unless I put it on backwards, which is entirely possible. Okay, here's the fun part. Yeah, <laughs> gotta get the dragon in there. Well, it's not inside out. Okay, all right, almost. Okay, one arm done. Next arm. This one's a little easier, kind of. Okay, getting there, almost. Okay, there, all right. And obviously you can change how, how you want the positions of these to be. So you can have it pulled more down, you could have it pulled more up. I think, I think I may have done this wrong. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe perhaps you have to bring it down like this on your shoulder and then put it on this way. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to go so that it kind of wraps around your arm like that. I bet that's how it's supposed to go. Maybe if I just rotate this. <laughs> okay, well, you guys get the idea, okay? So this is a top. Um, it barely covers the gals. So uh, again, I maybe have it on backwards, which I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Now, 
This one's gonna be complicated for sure because there's a bunch of different ways you can wear this. So I will put up on the screen different the different ways that you can wear this. So let me let me try to see the all the little things are poking poking through. I want to try to be as careful as possible. I don't really want to ruin this one, but let's see. Okay, one. We got one. Okay, here's one way you can wear it. Maybe if I can get it. Oh, almost lost a thumbnail. Oh, oh, dragging a snake in. Okay, okay. One way, let's see. Wrap it around. Nice and tight, me. Oh, there we go. We lost one. Man down. I'm surprised that one is one that went. Okay. Now. Find the other armhole here. Okay. Oh, dragging a snagging. No. No. Come on. No, don't, no, no, okay. I'm just gonna put him in the palm of my hand. Okay. Oh, he still wants to snag. Okay. Okay. Whew. Okay. So, obviously, this is one way you can wear it. And, and basically, you just wrap it all kinds of different ways. And then, uh, this is a lot of work, you guys. So you just wrap it a bunch of different ways that you want. Again, I will put up pictures so that you guys can see the different ways. But I think for now, um, we did one, two, three, Four outfits we did four outfits and so far we only have one man down so this nail this nail hurts p.s. by the way from all of that tugging so <laughs> this this one is sore but I am going to continue on with my day and we shall see what happens because of course the next thing, and see here's what I'm trying to do so I don't ruin that sweater. The next thing I want to do is uh, have something to eat. So I think we did, I think we did okay. I don't see much for our little holes, which is impressive by the way, because a lot of the Timu sweaters that I get, the the weave is so, hi Bubba's, the weave is so um, not very tightly woven, it's very loosely woven, so that it snags and creates holes very quickly. So if you guys wanna say hi to the Toto girl, there's Toto, say hi Toto, hi, hi. This is my, this is my little baby. She's stuck to me like glue and she loves to be held. She loves to be held like a baby. But for now, you guys, I'm gonna carry on my day and see, and see what happens. Stay tuned. Okay, so far, super thirsty. This pointer finger feels like it's it's about ready ready to go. So uh, we'll see if that's the next one. But this one, this one is really starting to hurt. Um, I, I may just have to take it off before I go to bed because I don't I don't want to wake up in absolute god awful pain because they've ripped and snagged off of the nails with the blankets. But I had to clean up this space a little bit because we had blankets galore over here. And even just trying to pick up the blankets and put them off to the side over there. Oh, 
Oh, my Lanta. Snag City. <laughs> okay, you guys, these are fresh out of the air fryer. I've got my ranch. And obviously, I'm not going to sit here. Oops, sit here and eat a ton in front of you. I just want to see how difficult it is to eat something. So, ugh. Those are pretty hot. I gotta let those cool down. You guys, I can't wait. I am so hungry. I am so hungry. I'm gonna lose a nail, burn my mouth all at the same time. <laughs> but maybe enough cold ranch will help. Mmm. So good, you guys. I think eating chicken wings with this is gonna be not that bad. I'm actually shocked. I mean, let's be real, okay? Like I said, let's be real, guys. This one hurts so bad, and I I really just want to take it off, but I'm going to let it I'll let it slide a little bit longer. Kaya, move your butt. You're stepping on cords, honey. Come on. Anyways, like I was telling you, I think I'll leave it on for a little bit longer. And if it falls off for any reason, um, maybe I'll just write some kind of a, a little message saying what made it fall off, so on and so forth, and just keep you updated that way. And then you're not watching a really, really long video, which I'm sure this already is. But... I just thought that this would kind of be a fun idea. So, stay tuned. And that's all I have for you guys today. I super hope that you enjoyed it, and I thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me today on a silly video that I thought would just be really fun. Also, I do have in my description box, obviously lots of goody goods down below, but I also have the coupon code for the Irresistible Me, which I will have on the screen in a several different portions of today's video. So take a look at that if you're interested. And I do have a little bit of a short list of the videos of the producers and the YouTubers that I really enjoy watching. Just Jen likes to do a lot of kind of your country-esque home hauls. I've got, of course, Hot Mess Mama. She is hilarious she does a little bit of this and a little bit of that and her videos are fun to watch so again just check out a couple of the video links that I do have down below in the description box I think you're really going to enjoy them April has got such a sweet sweet um, personality to her and I really watch her hauls because she buys a lot of eccentric things that you wouldn't think to pick up on YouTube so check her out out as well and obviously guys lots and lots of coupon codes are down there and even a Timu coupon for new and existing users and if you don't know how to use that coupon code just give me a shout out and I will walk you through it but I also hope that you subscribe and share and like this video it really helps me out a lot and I would super duper appreciate it but until next time guys I will see you you later. Bye guys.